Rescue crews did launch hundreds of desperate missions to save people from flooding. Uh, we mentioned all of this before with the staff and the patients being on top of roofs. Uh, thankfully, the helicopters finally were able to airlift those folks out of there because some of the patients were in lifeboats. Can you imagine? I mean, just look at these pictures right here. Uh, you can see all of that widespread flooding. Uh, now we know that the storm is expected to still have impacts over Tennessee and Kentucky, which could see an additional four inches of rain before the weekend's done. News Nation's Mills Hayes is in Valdosta, Georgia, with more. Mills? Hey, Adrian, I'm here uh, outside of a gas station because this is really what the aftermath of a hurricane looks like. There is damage everywhere, but the people behind me, they are left without power, without food. So they are all trying to get into this gas station. There's only about three gas stations that are open here. Everyone's uh, out with power here, about 100, uh, nearly 100%. I think there's only about 1,000 people in this county uh, that actually have power. So we're talking about over 70,000 people, no power. Power, no air conditioning. That means they can't get any food to put in their refrigerator. So they are really trying to stock up. We've seen people waiting in long lines for food, gas, and water. And this is something that this community is unfortunately used to because they were hit really hard by Hurricane Idalia. That happened in August 2023. So only a little over a year ago. And I actually, I want to talk to someone who lives here in Valdosta, Georgia. Aaron, we were talking earlier, but tell me kind of what does it look like right now after uh, the aftermath of the hurricane? Wow, it's, it's very devastating. Um, I mean, if you ask me, I think a really tornado probably hit or something like that. But um, just riding through the city, it's, it's pretty bad. Right. It's, it's been very bad. Now, uh, we were talking to you about getting gas, food. You didn't, you thankfully didn't have to wait too, too long, about 10 minutes, right? Yeah. Um, what have you seen as far as, like, uh, uh, restaurants? Are things closed? What does it look like here? Um, same thing, pretty much bad. Everything pretty much down. Um, they got a lot of food trucks and everything kicking up, um, you know, like Waffle House and stuff like that. But most everybody I see, they kind of, you know, pretty much outdoor grilling and stuff. Right. So, um, we do have, um, I just left a couple of spots. Um, I think the Holiday Spirits, um, the liquor store, they just got a big ice truck in. So it's a fresh, big ice truck. So people that need ice, they might can probably pull in there and get ice. Right, and a lot of people you were mentioning too on social media just kind of coming together, trying to make sure that everyone here has resources because a lot of people don't have it. Um, were you here for Idalia? Oh, yes, last uh, year. How was that in comparison to this one? Um, I want to say Helen was bad. Oh, um, yeah. There you wasn't so bad, you know, just the wind and whatnot, but I want to say this one was bad. Right. Right. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. Um, we have been talking to people pretty much all day long over the past, uh, uh, actually, past two days, too, here. A lot of people telling us about how they have damage done to their homes. We spoke with uh, a couple families that can't even live in their homes, and that is something that is very stressful for them because, of course, they don't know where they're going to live, and they can only stay with family and friends for so long. And the governor of Georgia, Brian Kemp, did say that today there are about 1,100 people staying in the shelter in the state. So a lot of people have their lives completely disrupted. Adrian? Yeah, Mills, I know that uh, from what, everything that we're seeing and all of the reporting, Helene was stronger than the past two storms, but not stronger than Ian. We appreciate you joining us there on the ground and talking to folks there. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.